everybody, AlexHealthHacksReview.com here doing a analysis of the Sun Lighten emitter that it goes inside of the Impulse series, which is the series that produces far, mid, and near wavelength. Uh, now, if you've seen other sort of carbon sort of panels out there anyways in the industry, um, they generally look black, they're made out of polypropylene is the material has a maximum uh, temperature range of around 100 degrees, 110 degrees actually Celsius. Um, and now if you see any sort of manufacturers, companies that claim uh, they can produce mid-range, mid-range infrared with their carbon emitters, if they're made out of polypropylene, which 99% of them are, uh, that's actually impossible um, as mid-range requires much hotter degrees, hot enough degrees it would actually melt the um, emitter, which I actually showed you when I put the polypropylene in the oven. Um, and again, you'll, you'll sometimes see pictures of saunas where the polypropylene has melted to the walls. This material was um, pioneered through a lot of testing and R&D by Sunlighten. They figured out eventually that this material made from DuPont, um, called polyamide, um, and I'll put more information up on the website, can handle much, much hotter degrees, 250 degrees Celsius. Huge difference, um, and that's actually a sort of coating that goes on top of some other materials in this, okay? So it's the coating on top. They use it for other industrial applications as well, where there's a lot of heat involved. That is what allows, the special coating allows it to again handle much hotter temperature that are, make it capable of handling the wattage and heat of producing uh, mid-range mid-range infrared. So on the back here, which is the area that actually generally faces when you look behind the emitters in the sauna, you'll see this. Um, this sort of material, again, took a long time to figure out. It's actually a mix, a proprietary mix, a variety of ingredients that is sprayed and baked in a three-stage process on the top of the rest of these materials, okay? You have these sort of metal coil right here that conducts the actual electricity. Um, you have a little bit of copper material in here as well. Um, and this, this material over here um, is what really is was responsible for the 99% um, efficiency. So polypropylene just by itself um, and its you know, multi-layer sandwiching construction uh, generally is 95%, okay? Uh, this coating itself is the, was responsible for the 99%. Um, that they have a patent on this, an actual patent that is searchable. You can read about it. Um, pretty much every company, other company that claims patents, you can't really find them anywhere if you've actually done the detective work. Um, as well as the coding um, on this, by am I? Um, again, there's also a patent. You can read exactly about what this coding is capable of, what it does with the emitter. Again, that's a patent you can look up, um, which is refreshing, because uh, again, I usually, you know, try to figure out what, what are erroneous claims, which are valid or not, and usually they're just not valid, there's no information out there. Um, but anyway, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell um, for this kind of unique emitter. Um, and then normally right in the middle here, that's generally where you're going to see the near-infrared LED array, okay, that I've shown you inside of the sauna. So really this, this whole thing is very thin. As you can see, very, very thin, highly conductive, can handle extremely, extremely high temperatures, and not melt in a 500 degree oven, as you saw, um, and yet is capable of tremendous efficiency and producing far to mid, and then having that, uh, you know, that LED array. And again, this is going inside of the Impulse series. Um, you do not find the polyamide, the special coating, etc., cetera, um, or the LED array inside the signature, okay? Um, that uh, inside the signature, you're just gonna find the polypropylene. Um, so if you ever have any questions about this, more about this, what the song is capable of, or you have other brands that you're looking at and you're having trouble getting that information um, from the company uh, or looking up a patent that they claim, something like that, just feel free to give me a call and I can tell you what exactly they're using and what they're actually capable of and uh, what are claims that can be substantiated and claims that cannot be substantiated. Anyways, thanks for watching.